Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to do a free criminal background check in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, to get started, visit PennsylvaniaPublicRecords.org <clears throat> and uh, what you'll, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You can click on that or just type it into your browser. Uh, so what you'll notice on the home page is you have quite a few public record databases in alphabetic order. Uh, some of these could be useful, but in this video we're going to focus on criminal related information and specifically the free databases you have available within the state. So <clears throat> uh, to get started, hover over other records and select inmate search. And so how does a, uh, a criminal record start? It starts basically most of the time with, a, with an arrest, a police department, sheriff's department uh, officer uh, arrests somebody they get charged with a crime, they get uh, arrest, uh, taken to a local jail typically, uh, and then they go through the booking process, fingerprints, mugshot, and uh, they will either be released, uh, they will post maybe bail, or sometimes they will be kept in jail until they see a judge. But eventually, they will. everybody will have to see a judge. And so this is where the, the record begins. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are guilty yet, but there is already a record and this information you can search the public has access to this information so some uh, sheriff's departments will provide uh, police departments sheriff's departments provide these databases for example here in the city of Philadelphia you can research if you got a first name and a last name and a date of birth you can research this information and uh, multiple counties uh, have a very similar database if you'd like to uh, do uh, have that type of research for arrest information, uh, you can do so. Uh, so if you hover over other records, uh, actually not over other records, let's uh, let's click on court records. And this takes you to the next step. So after they get arrested and typically taken to jail and charged with a crime, now they have to go to a court and stand trial. And so anytime somebody sees a judge, a court document is created and the uh, court record is considered public records. So if, unless there's a, an, some sensitive situation and maybe it's an ongoing investigation and information can't be released, or maybe there's too much publicity around the case, uh, they might not release the information right away. But generally speaking, this information is public record and you can use uh, court uh, databases uh, to research this information. So you have uh, quite a few different courts doing different jobs in Pennsylvania, anything from the Supreme Court to the Magistral District Court, uh, and each of them uh, will do its own specific job. So you have, for instance, one of them will do uh, Pittsburgh Municipal, uh, they'll do fel felony and lower level, level crimes. Uh, you have your uh, Philadelphia uh, City Court uh, also will do uh, felony and misdemeanor, uh, which is low, lower level crimes, and then you have your common pleas, uh, will also do uh, felonies and lower lo level crimes. And so you're able to research these databases. There's a link here that you can access, and uh, you can search by docket or you can research by name. And so I'm going to go ahead and click participant's name here. And if you have, the more information you have, the better, because there's just so many records within the system. So if you can, I'm just gonna go with something general. Um, you can select uh, a county if you wanna search in a specific county. So I'll go ahead and do that. You can also select the type of uh, docket. Uh, let's say we just want the criminal ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit search. And uh, okay, so here we go. As you can see, there's quite a few cases. I used a very, a very general name here. So uh, it, there's lots of records here. So uh, the more information you could put in here, the more you can filter, uh, the, the less records you'll have to go through. So, and we can take a look at one of these. Uh, for instance, this is, you, we have an active case and then we have a closed. Let's, uh, let's try a closed one. So you have a couple of different, so you got a docket sheet that you can look at and a court summary. So if we look at the docket sheet, you have your case information here, uh, the uh, individual involved, uh, you have uh, the arresting officer, things like that. 
Uh, these are just the uh, the different dates and whatever happened on those dates. Uh, calendar events, and then you have your uh, case participants. Okay, here we go, the uh, bail information. So as you can see, these are uh, pretty pretty extensive records here. You have your charges. So there's uh, uh, quite a few charges here. And then I'm gonna keep on scrolling. Then you have your sentencing information. And then you have your, uh, your sentences uh, down here. And uh, also some fines. Uh, the court summary also uh, is a is a quick summary. If you don't want to go through through the whole report here, you can just click on the court summary, and this gives you a uh, a quick uh, summary of uh, what 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 happened. So, as you can see, I did not have to put in a credit card. I didn't have to pay for any of this. I didn't even have to sign up for an account. I just came in with a name, picked the county, hit search. And I selected criminal records. And as you can see, pretty much everything under John Smith is here. Um, so anytime somebody gets arrested, they will have to go through uh, the court system. And so there's no way of escaping that pretty much. And so every single crime or a criminal offense, if that's the type of document you're looking for, is going to have to go through the court system. Uh, you just have to know which county it happened in. So, you know, if you know where the arrest happened, research that county. Uh, research the county the individual lives in. If you're just researching an individual, the county that they live in, uh, maybe the county that they work in, and then also the surrounding counties if you want to make sure you got your bases covered. Because uh, it might be impossible to look through every single one of these. Uh, but at least if you can narrow your search down a little bit, it might be <clears throat> it might not be so time consuming, and at least you'll you'll focus on the areas that uh, will give you the highest probability of a, of a hit. So after the court, uh, you have a guilty or no guilty verdict, and typically, uh, if somebody's guilty, they might pay a fine, or if it's like a more severe crime, uh, they might have to serve some time. Over 12 months, it would be in the prison. Under 12 months, it would be in the jail. And so I'm going to go ahead and select inmate search again. And uh, you have, uh, so if it's over 12 months, they're going to be in the prison, and that would be the department, uh, Pennsylvania Department of Corrections uh, manages these facilities. So you actually have uh, a database that you can use to also research uh, this information and I'm just gonna go ahead and try a random name here just to show you uh, what they have and as you can see you have your inmate uh, identifying information and the uh, location that they're located in uh, at the moment and a mugshot so these records uh, can be can be researched for free as you saw I just tried a, a general uh, name here, and there is quite a few people here. Um, and again, uh, you have your basic information here and the location that they're at in a mugshot. And if you wanted more information, uh, you could again go back to court records and look up maybe a uh, maybe look up a date, um, maybe look up a particular a particular uh, case. If you wanted to find out more information about an arrest here within within the inmate system, so uh, you can use everything. So uh, starting with uh, arrest records, uh, court information, inmate searches at the prison, in the prison system, and then also one more thing I uh, almost forgot. Uh, you also want to check the sex offender registry. This is another free database that you have available to you, and all you need is a first name and a last name. And uh, it's a statewide search. And again, it's also free to use. So these are some of the databases available to you within the within the state of Pennsylvania. And uh, all of the databases that I have used, uh, I did not have to use a credit card. I didn't even have to sign up for an account. They're all free to use. It's public information. So uh, that's what you have available. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention. You do have another tool you can utilize on this website. And that's the name search box here on top. 
And this is not a free tool, but it's a very helpful tool and you might consider using it and I'll explain to you why. It doesn't just look at um, one particular record type. It looks at multiple public databases, court records, property records, criminal information, arrest information, financial records, things like bankruptcies, uh, could be maybe uh, a financial lawsuit, private databases, things like cell phone records, uh, previous addresses. It's got so many different databases. And uh, another thing is it doesn't just look within the state of Pennsylvania. It's It gives you more of, it looks outside the state as well. So it gives you more of a nationwide look into someone's past. Um, why might this be useful? Well, first of all, it's got a ton of databases that you don't have to jump uh, jump from one uh, database to another it's a single search system and it's pretty much instantaneous so it saves you time and you'll quickly figure out if that's something you want to use or not and then the other thing is let's say somebody has uh, somebody has a criminal record in New York or maybe in Michigan but they're living in Pennsylvania now if you're just doing research at the county level or the state level in Pennsylvania there is no way for you to know what happened in New York or in Michigan as an example. So this gives you an opportunity to be more informed, um, uh, get a, a much broader broader look into someone's uh, criminal and public record past. So it's a great tool to add to your uh, uh, background uh, checking arsenal. So uh, with that said, visit PennsylvaniaPublicRecords.org and uh, get started on your free criminal background check in Pennsylvania. Thank you.